to the their people indigenous to southern kaduna this is a very healthy and nutritious drink it is not only good for healthy people but also for people that are immunocompromised have hiv or want to lose calories watch out sit back and watch how it's done hello beautiful people this is zesta herbal soap skincare and lifestyle believe you me if i tell you this is a super food this is a traditional food free from unhealthy calories free from preservatives no sugar no milk yet very healthy very nutritious and very beneficial for the body rich in microbial flora that will be beneficial to the body and eventually to the skin Trust me, now everything has to do with skin. Okay? So watch and see how we do it. As you can see, we do everything the traditional way. We start by heating our milk lead in our pounding in a, what do they call that? In a mortar. Okay? We pound it and remove the chaff. After that, we dry it in the sun. Because we usually put water inside before we pound it. When we pound it, the chaff will come off. The dust and any other thing on it will come off. We dry it in the sun. As you can see here, I'm rubbing it together so that they will all the we call it dusa in Hausa here. Okay. The the dusa, let me call it that way. But I hope you understand what I mean eventually. It will all come off and leave the grains for us. I'm using short cora. You can use your millet, you can use your pearl millet. Some people even use maize and rice. But me, I use pearl millet, I use short cura for it, okay? Or my sun cream, you can use it, okay? So after uh, we've done that, we've dried it, okay? There was a part you saw me peeling something. I was peeling cocoa yam and sweet potatoes. We, we put cocoa yam and sweet potatoes in this porridge, okay? So now, after you peel the cocoa yam and sweet potatoes, you keep it aside. You come back by then, your millet and your sun cream have dried a bit. So you process this, you process it, I mean. This is how I do mine, okay? At the end of the day, when you do it this way, your pearl millet will be separated from the sodium. Essentially, the smaller parts of the, the smaller parts of the sodium and the pearl, uh, pearl millet will be separated. Also, the chaff will be blown out. So these smaller parts of the pearl millet and the sodium will keep aside. They are the ones that we will cook. You will see that when we get to that point. Okay. So as you can see now, we are pounding our so we are pounding our sweet potatoes and our cocoa yam. We are adding fresh ginger to the mix. Hey, you can add cloves also to eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, while you do that, you pound and keep aside. You now come and wash your millet. Both the smaller ones and the bigger ones. You wash the smaller ones separate and keep aside. You wash the bigger part, the bigger ones, that is the ones that are not broken, the bigger ones, those separate and keep aside. You wash them to remove any remnant of the chaff and stones. You can see the stones are removed from this one. Or should I say the sand I removed? You wash until the water turns clear. You can see this water is a bit dirty, so I keep on washing it until the water turns clear and clean. You clean it up properly. You can see I'm adding more water. I keep on washing and removing the sand and stones until it's clean. Okay? Now, after I've done that, I get a, a, a pot, a clean pot. I pour in the smaller parts in the, in the pot. Then I now add water to it. Depending on the size of your pot, and depending on how thick and how much you want the porridge to be, to be, that's how you put the water. If you want the porridge to be very thick, you don't use too much water. But still, you have to use enough water for your batch. Don't put too little water and the batch is too much. It will be raw. And don't put too much water and the batch is too small. It will be too watery. 
okay so now this is the one we pounded our uh, ginger cloves our um, um, sweet potatoes and our cocoa yam so we are going to grind all this together into a paste okay there's a little bit of my millet also inside but not much just a little bit okay so this is this one too, we are going to grind it that's the larger part already remember the smaller ones are already cooking inside the kitchen okay the smaller part but the big this is it now you can see it is boiling it is soft okay i'll allow it boil and just soft very very soft before i now start making my i also have porridge. extra hot water i kept an boiling. extra pot of water in case that other case one is not enough the water is okay. enough for me so i'm going to pour first this one into the into my paste now okay i've grinded my paste this is the one that have cocoa yam sweet potatoes ginger and some little of my corn inside okay this one is just plain it's just the corn that are grinded here okay so i'm going to fetch two spoons of it like this i'm going to fetch like two tape two two loop food uh, how like all this two <laughs> scoops scoops of this now into a bigger bowl where i'll pour my hot water so i'll do that for you to see now so this is one two let me add one more three then i'm going to pour my hot water into this now. i'm coming i'll come and pour it now i'll show you my hot water now I've poured, I've poured my hot water in. I'm going to mix it in now. Okay. It's looking light now, but don't worry. It will soon form a very nice, thick, pulp like consistency. So, I allow it to cool a little bit. And by doing this, you can see steam going off. Okay, by doing this, I'm cooling the temperature down a bit. We usually do this outside so that it cools down faster. You can do this in your kitchen as well, okay? But I'm doing this outside so that it cool down fast. It will cool down a little bit. And I'll be pouring in my raw one a little at a time. So, I'm going to fetch one more spoon now. One more look for pour. Okay. You can see it has become thicker a little bit. I don't pour much at once okay and i don't want it to cuddle up if the heat is too much it will cuddle up i don't want it to do that i want it smooth okay so i'm adding another one So this is it. I'm going to pour in a considerable amount now, then I'll leave it for some time. Then I'll mix. See, looking milky. <laughs> can see how beautiful it looks now, huh? And you can see how thick it is. Okay. If you put milk and sugar in this thing, eh? oh, Father Lord, it's heavily, heavily. Okay. So, I'll now add more, a little bit more. Then I'll leave it for some time. See how thick it is. Very, very thick. But don't worry, it will eventually cut by the time I add in my cocoa yam and my sweet potatoes inside and my ginger. It will cut and become sweet enough for you to sup. You know, you just take it poop, 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 like that, you know. So, I'll be back in like 10, 5 minutes. Come back. So, our, our canoe has cooled down a bit. So, now we are going to add in our... Um, 
cocoa yam, sweet potatoes, and then grinded ginger. You can also add cloves to it and then grind. You don't allow it cool completely, but you don't allow it get too hot because you don't want to kill the enzymes that are in your in your cocoa yam and then sweet potato. Okay, so I'm pouring it now. It will be a little bit raw. Okay, so I'm pouring it now. You you don't need it cooked. You don't need it cold. This will the the warm to activate the enzymes, and it will give the this this kunu this porridge sweetness on its own even without sugar especially the sweet potato it will make it sweet even on its own even without sugar okay and especially when it gets to the next day it will be sour and sweet and it will be rich in good microorganisms that will be very beneficial to the gut this is good for people like hiv patients people that are purging children it's not it's good for everybody it's a very rich source of microbial mm, of a normal flora to our intestinal system you can see how creamy it is even without milk you can enjoy this just a little sugar and you're done you don't even traditionally we don't even take it with sugar you just take it the way it is like this some people don't even take it till the next day when it is sour and sweeter and very rich okay this is our traditional porridge we take this every time when visitors come we don't give visitors water we call it raw water but instead you give visitors this porridge or you add a bit of water to it especially the one that is sour and then give your visitors that's how we come welcome our visitors okay thanks for watching our this is our porridge after some minutes you can see it's a bit watery it is not too thick it is not too watery it's just sweet this a nice consistency enough for you to soak you know to sip it and it is not hot it is not hot again it is milky you don't even need to add milk naturally it has a milky color in short sure, this is like a super food as far as i'm concerned it is it has a bit of raw ingredients enzymes microbes everything you need for a healthy life it is there very nice traditional food